But let's look at Cloud Search first of all. Uh, I'm now going to switch over to the admin console actually, and let's have a look at how we actually enable Cloud Search. It is normally on by default, but always worthwhile just checking first, making sure it is available to your users. So if you go to Apps, Google Workspace, and Cloud Search, there's not many settings in here. There's literally just one setting where you can turn it on or off for your users. You can have it on for the entire domain, or if you wanted to, you might just want to turn it on just for your student, uh, just for your staff and not your students. But once you've got it on, there's a couple of ways you can access it. So one way is by going to cloudsearch.google.com, where you get taken to this page. You can also access it via the uh, Waffle app launcher, and it's just down here, Cloud Search. And it's also a mobile app, so you can get it on Android and iOS and access it on your mobile device. And when you hit the home page, it will automatically flag up any documents which you've been working on recently or have been um, linked to a calendar event which you've got current, coming up. So anything it thinks you might need quick access to, it will highlight here. But the really powerful thing is uh, the search at the top. So let's say I'm searching for a field trip uh, we're organizing. Entering that query, we'll return results from across Google Drive, Google Sites as well. Uh, it searches Google Groups, uh, my Gmail. Uh, right, it's all across here. Um, so it's uh, People, which we'll go into in a minute, and searches for calendar events. So sometimes I use this. If I'm really struggling to find uh, a document and I can't remember who created it, where it was saved, using Cloud Search will search everything I've got access to, whether it's in any uh, app on Google Drive or in my Gmail or in Calendar. It will search across all of those, and I normally find it once uh, I go to Cloud Search. One thing to keep in mind, though, is it only surfaces data stored in accounts you have Education Plus assigned. Uh, so it is, uh, it is a, a paid for feature. Um, if, you don't, if you do have users who don't have an Education Plus license assigned, then it won't surface that data. So that's just one example of a query. You can, of course, use other queries in here, like you would on Google Drive. So I could type in after and put a date in here and narrow down my search results based on that. I can also type in things like uh, documents, if I can spam documents from oh, Albus Dumbledore, one of our users on our domain. And then it just shows me the documents shared by Dumbledore. I can also do a people search in here. So if I just search for an individual, I can go to a people tab and I can jump straight from here into contacts and see more details about that person. And yeah, that's pretty much Cloud Search really. It's it's really easy to use. If there are some more advanced features now where you can link Cloud Search to third party products. So if you wanted to, you could link it up with something like SharePoint and have it search there as well. And I guess the only other thing to mention is you can also integrate it with Google Sites. So you can have Cloud Search as a search in Google Sites and have a much more powerful search available there.